hey guys welcome back to it another video and today in this video i'm going to discuss about substring uh, sub str and slice methods so the difference between all of those all of the three above are not that much let's do it and learn it right so let's take a string i will take a sentence i'm naming it san and yeah so i love development right so now uh, i want to use sub str so let's see what it does so like uh, when i'm logging it <coughs> so basically what i'm gonna do is like send dot sub str and i'm gonna give the start index let me give the start index as uh, two and how many items uh, I, I want to like get out of it so I will be giving um, five let's check what's the output yeah it's love now how it is working basically what it does is here i is the zeroth index one is the space here and two is the l here right so now if you look carefully that the zeroth position is the third fourth fifth right so basically what it does is it starts from this second position and goes all the way to this position now how this is working let's check it's zero th index first second third fourth fifth so this is the starting index and this is the index like to which point you want it to be copied so yeah let's let's write it what it does it's basically the arguments are the starting index and the number of characters to include in the returned string in this case uh, that is 5 from the starting index 0 right up till fifth index we will be uh, taking out from it now similarly for the uh, let's see what happens for a substring method so basically i'm taking the same sentence here uh, i'm just i will be just logging it first yeah so let's check what happens send dot sub string now let's give to indexes like for example i will be giving here uh, 012 that is l uh, no let's let's not do it let's do something else uh, it's fifth sixth seventh seventh element and i will be giving um, let it be 12th so let's check what happens okay it's given error why it is giving error okay yeah that there was a typo here the s in the substring it is not camel case so let's do it yeah d e v e l so what is happening here basically it is the seventh element then comes the eighth ninth ten eleven so what it does is let's write it here in comments it basically represents the first argument is the starting index starting index which is inclusive of course and second argument is the ending index which is exclusive that is it doesn't take in consideration of the last index it takes in consider consideration of the last minus one that is n minus one index for in this case it is given here 12 but it prints till the 11th index 
now comes the most wonderful and most powerful method in this string methods uh, is a slice so let's start with it so basically what it does it it can take negative values uh, it works the same as the substring method but the it is powerful because it can take negative values also so what do, do i mean by negative values so let's see what 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 i mean so basically uh, send dot slice so if i normally print for example the same thing here 7 and 12 it will be giving me the same stuff right devil but if i for example give this let's check what happens minus 7 minus 12 let's see it works or not it didn't give anything because i think it does not exist so let's check with something lesser uh, let's check with minus 1 and minus 5 still not giving something why is that let's check with minus 1 here is giving the t got it let's check with minus 3 in the second argument still not giving anything so why is that basically uh, the minus operator works in such a way that it will be uh, taking in consideration the last element for example here i think you people have noticed that when i'm giving minus one here so basically it is taking the last element right when i'm giving minus two here then it is giving uh, the very uh, last two elements yeah so basically what is happening here is like previously i showed you guys that when i whenever i'm giving like minus two and uh, minus five in here it is showing me nothing right nothing so the reason behind is that like when we are taking in consideration minus two right it will be giving us these two last elements but the second argument behaves the same way as case as in case of substring and uh sub substring but it doesn't exist because the minus two is this part this two part and minus five is up till this part right so if i take here minus 5 and i give minus 2 here so let's check what happens it works now how is that here in this case the minus 5 is still this is this this is the first element minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 this p is the minus fifth element right and the minus 2 is minus 1 minus 2 but we know that in this case the first argument is inclusive and the second argument is exclusive so this n will be exclusive so we will be getting p m and e i hope this is clear if any if there are any doubts please do comment like and subscribe thank you